It's possible for you to live your dream. It's necessary that you associate with winners, that you work your system, that you are relentless, that you never give up. It's you. You've got to take personal responsibility. You've got to make it your personal business. To make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this, that it's hard. But you've got to say, I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business. As you work to help other people to become successful, that feeds your success. But you know it's going to be hard, but find out what will make it worth it for you. If you want to do anything worthwhile in life, you've got to be hungry. It's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. So every day I was working to develop myself. And that's what you must do. You can either live your dreams or live your fears. And I think the majority of people actually are not living their dreams, but are living their fears. What are your fears? What are you afraid of? What are you scared of? Because we all have fears, don't we? We all have something that's blocking us, that's holding us back. And as we begin to look at life, what we realize is that the reason that most people are not living out their true potential and not doing all of the things that they would really like to do is because of fear. Some people call fear false evidence or expectations appearing real. What are the things that you fear that's been keeping you from living your dream? That's been keeping you from doing some things that you would like to do? Just think about those things. And how do we begin to handle that? Abraham Maslow said that the life is about growth. And he said, you can either go back to your comfort zone and there you won't find any growth, or you must willing, be willing to go forward and face your fears again and again and again because you're never going to have a, a fear-free existence. I mean, some fear is acceptable and legitimate. There are some things that you, you really should be afraid of. Now, you shouldn't allow it to immobilize you. You acknowledge it, you take it into account, and you carry yourself accordingly. There are times that we should proceed with caution, but it's the difference between being stopped by fear. It's the difference between having a fear and the fear having you. So what do we do? One, acknowledge it and knowing that it's okay. Don't condemn yourself for being afraid. I want to talk to you about believe, what you believe, what you believe, what you believe about your God, but also what you believe about yourself. Belief is a very important thing. It's not just a matter of denomination. It's not just a, a matter of being a part of a group or a tribe or a clique or a cult. Belief has all to do with your philosophy that you live by, your vision, your purpose, your goals. I know you're weak, I know you made mistakes, I know you've erred along the way, but if you believe me, it is counted unto you as righteousness. The enemy does everything he can to tear down your belief system. 
you're able to do anything but fail. If you know who you are, then you know who you are not. If you don't know who you are, somebody can ascribe any identity onto you and you will morph into whatever they want you to be. And that's what has happened with a whole lot of us. Some of us have been 10 or 12 different people depending upon who we were with because we don't know who we are. We become whoever they want us to be. And then when they leave us, we are confused because we have no real understanding. Who we are. If you open up a business, if you open up a company, one of the things you have is vision, purpose, and goals. And you write them down so all of your staff and all of your team and all your customers can know this is who I am. I am defined by my vision, my purpose, and my goals. That's my playbook, that's my creed. That's what I believe as a company, as an institution. I can do all things. Somebody say, I can do all things. Say it again, I can do all things. Wouldn't it be amazing if you believe that? Wouldn't you sleep good tonight if you believe that? Wouldn't you walk around with your head up and your back straight if you believe that? Say it again, I can do all things. You wouldn't be intimidated by anybody, anywhere, at any time if you just believe that. Say it again, I can do all things. Can you imagine how different your job interview would go if you really believe that and walked in? They said, what do you do? I can do. Imagine if you were taught that from the time you were born into the world. The first thing your mama told you when they spiked you on the behind is don't worry about it, baby. You can do all things. I want you to understand that the predicament that you are in right now does not define your destiny. It's perfectly fine to have some fears. You acknowledge your fears, you embrace those fears, and then you move on. You act on whatever it is that you fear. Because once you embrace it, see, what you resist will persist. What you resist will persist. So one of the most important things is, is to begin to embrace your fear. So deciding as you look at your life, as you look into the future and say, what fears am I holding on to? What fears that I'm allowing to imprison me that's keeping me from breaking out, that's keeping me from living up to my true potential, that's keeping me from really being happy, that's keeping me from having a sense of adventure and excitement in my life. What's, what's keeping me from controlling my destiny? What fears that I'm giving that permission to? Notice what I said, that we must give our permission to fear to immobilize us. Because whatever discomfort you experience, whatever challenges or difficulty that it is, you got to handle it. Will it be easy? No. Will it be challenging? Yes. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry. And as you run towards your dream, I want to dedicate this to you that I love very much. I want to thank Dexter and all of you. It's something that I've known by. It's on our tapes called Choosing Your Future. And it says simply this. That if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, 
and life seems useless and worthless without it. And if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or gout, sickness or pain or body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary, that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. The people that are living their dream are finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them and they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win.